Greg Tate farms with his family near Dilk, Saskatchewan. Not only do they grow a variety of crops on their 7,000 acres of land, they also run a second business called GNS Sales. A big part of that business is manufacturing the Watermaster Pump, an invention which originated in Texas back in the 1950s. And a company called Watermaster Incorporated or had bought the patent out from the original inventor uh, out of Ontario. And uh, then my dad had bought that out from them uh, after that. The Tate family has been manufacturing the Watermaster pump for over 50 years, and Greg eventually bought out his father in 1993. In recent years, Greg's three sons have become involved in the family business, including Travis, who has headed out to pump water out of a slough with the Watermaster. It's self-priming. Uh, it can be put in the field and run for long hours if it's set up properly with an auxiliary tank. And uh, basically, um, it'll... Its biggest thing is efficiency of small horsepower with big volume because it'll pump 700 gallons per minute. Uh, in perspective, if you had a one acre of body of air of water, it would drop it about a, a, an inch an hour. And that's based on with 400 feet of hose on and a five foot lift. The 75 pound water master system can be carried by one person as Travis demonstrates here but it's quite a bit easier to move around if two work together. The unit comes with 400 feet of 6-inch plastic hose and more hoses available if needed. The system can pump up to 3,000 feet and as much as a 30-foot lift. Hooking up the hose to the Watermaster pump is pretty simple. Your ring hookup is folded into your hose once and uh, there's a, a lip point in here. And to attach it and detach it, it's more or less just put it in and pull it back and it's tight and that pump, the hose will not come out under pressure. To take it out, just push it in and take it out so that you quick disconnect and put in uh, on your hose. Once the hose is hooked up, you're ready to drag the Watermaster pump into the body of water where you're going to be doing the pumping. Of course, it's usually a good idea to be wearing hip waders like Travis is doing here. As long as you have at least three inches of water, the pump should work really well. The Watermaster is equipped with a five and a half horsepower Kohler engine. Greg says they've kept the design of the system as simple as possible. Your housing, uh, which is the flotation device, plus it's also the housing for the uh, pumping. It's, so it's two-in-one uh, housing. Uh, it floats and it's the housing for the pump and your inlets are here for your uh, water that comes in and it will float in about an inch below the top point here uh, which fills the whole cavity with water which makes it self-priming as soon as you put it in it fills with water and your impeller is inside the housing and that is connected to your transmission which is a four to one gear, dri uh, gear drive in there connected with your motor Tate says as long as the Watermaster is working in a depth of at least three inches, it'll keep pumping the water as well as anything else that fits through the one-inch intake holes. Years ago in the past, Dad had uh, went to, uh, uh, it, well, it is a ocean spray now, and they, but in the 60s it was uh, private farms, and, and, that, and they'd used it for pumping cranberries, and from one bunker to another bunker, and cranberries are approximately about three-eighths of an inch in diameter and hard as a rock. The transmission on the Watermaster unit runs in an oil bath, so the pump won't get damaged if the water body runs dry. This means the farmer doesn't have to constantly be watching as the water level goes down. The oil bath of the pump itself will lubricate all the gears and the engine um, has its own reservoir um, and basically uh, it'll bring it down to about the screen uh, point and it'll cavitate and get air, but it's still getting water to lubricate the bottom seal. Tate and his sons are constantly looking for new ideas for the Watermaster system, and it will soon be available with an optional hydraulic drive. 
Some customers were looking to run it off a tractor rather than having to maintain a separate engine. But those who have purchased Watermaster units in the past know about its durability. Some of the original pumps are still out there from 50 years ago and still running. Um, the life expectancy of the pump itself, uh, it's hard to say the engine I know will break down before the pump will. At the time of our visit, they were selling the Watermaster pump package for just over $2,400. That includes the pump itself, 400 feet of hose, the O-ring for hooking it up, and a roll of tape for connecting or patching hoses. They also sell perforated hose if you want to use the system for irrigation.